Now we gotta move fast. Hank, give me, uh, give me whatever cash you got. Uh-huh, son, you just bought yourself a barbecue joint. I hereby transfer 100% ownership of Sugarfoot's barbecue to Hank Hill. Yeah, that's right. And after my divorce is final, you'll therefore transfer 100% ownership back to me. And Miss Liz can't have half of what I don't own, you see. <laughs> you saw me, don't you? Sir, I didn't even know you owned Sugarfoot's. That place is an institution, I tell you what. You got your sawdust on the floor, the brisket served up on butcher paper. Yeah, dang it, Hank, this ain't poetry night. Now, don't worry. The place runs itself. They help make some barbecue. I make the money. Now, go tell uh, Joe Jack to come get his new Evan Rude outboard and uh, take Roger his scimitar, will you? Congratulations, Hank. You own a barbecue restaurant. And because we live in a community property state, I own half. So, in addition, congratulations to me. Ugh, sawdust. Hey, Wayne. Hey, Bobby. Ugh, oh, this place has so many possibilities. Hello, my name is Peggy Hill. I am the new owner of Sugarfoots. What happened to Mr. Buck? Oh, Mr. Buck is going through a nasty divorce. So, he sold this restaurant to me and my husband, who will be a silent partner. Okay, I'm not meeting you. Well, I have not met you yet because you have not told me your name. Well, that there Zelvin, our sauce man. Uh. Bubba, he sell the barbecue bean, okra, coleslaw, what have you. And that Merle, she take the money. I'm Little John, I cut meat. Well, it is very nice to meet you, Little John. As my first order of business, I want you to know that you are no longer employees. You are now teammates on Team Peggy Hill. And I am your captain, Peggy Hill. Uh-huh. That'd be fine. Oh! Ah, mm. oh, welcome to our very first team meeting. Now, this is our new suggestion box. It is a way for each of us to anonymously suggest ways we can whip this place into shape without fear of losing your job. Oh, someone's already made a suggestion. This is exciting. Sweep out the sawdust and put down carpet. Carpet Tex is having another going out of business sale. Excellent. Approved. You know, that box would work better if you cut a hole in the top. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Now, in addition to the anonymous suggestion, I have a few thoughts of my own. Elvin, when customers walk into Sugarfoot's, what's their first thought? I'm hungry. Uh-uh. It's, why isn't this place good enough to be a chain? Now, my own experience tells me that people are willing to sacrifice individuality for comfort and familiarity. And in his autobiography, Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas, agrees. I like them square hamburgers. Exactly. Now, everyone, please open up your chore envelope. Welcome to Peggy's Sugarfoots. And how many in your party? Bobby, quick. Where's your mother? What the hell happened to this place? Uh, Peggy, Peggy, have you seen Debbie from work? It is always about your work, isn't it, Hank? Well, we're not at Strickland Propane now. We are at Peggy's Sugarfoots. You haven't said one word about how I've turned this place around? Yo, Miss Peggy, a choo-choo's gone off the track. That's six times a day that thing gone off the track.